A solid gaming headset is less of a luxury and more of a necessity for anyone who logs significant time in their game of choice. While you could drop a few hundred bucks on a pair of hi-fi speakers and a subwoofer, the drastic improvements in sound quality and virtual 7.1 surround sound have elevated some modern gaming headsets to audiophile status. As well as creating awesome soundscapes, gaming headsets also come equipped with boom mics that can rival even some standalone cardioid microphones. Today we are going to review top 5 gaming headset of this year and we are going to start our list with HyperX Cloud Core. About as no frills as you can get, the HyperX Cloud Core is a comfortable gaming headset with a good microphone and decent sound, but not much else. However, sometimes that's precisely what you need. This headset is surprisingly comfortable thanks in part to its low weight, giving you an impression of barely being there, even over extended gaming sessions. While the sound quality of this headset is just okay, its microphone is one of the better options among its peers, offering audio clarity that belies the Cloud Core's modest price. The headset is also compatible with a variety of consoles, thanks to the inclusion of a 3.5mm audio jack. PC players have the added option of using the included USB throughput dongle, which allows for virtual 7.1 surround sound, as well as controls that allow you to control volume and mic pickup levels. If you're in the market for a solid gaming headset, the Cloud Core gives you many of the features you'll see on headsets that cost twice as much. As long as you don't mind being tethered to your console, this modest headset still has a lot to offer. And as always the link is in the description below. If other gaming headsets are bathtub gin, the Corsair Virtuoso RGB Wireless XD is single malt whiskey, with a price tag to match. This headset is about as classy as you can get and is an improvement on the previous model in nearly all respects. Composed of luxurious leatherette and brushed aluminum, this headset is a delight to look at and wear. The sound quality of this headset is amazing and is at the top of its class in the realm of gaming headsets. While the detachable microphone doesn't come equipped with a pop filter, the Corsair IQ software allows you to fine-tune your audio experience to make sure you don't pick up any unwanted noise. The real standout feature of the XT, however, is its litany of connectivity options. Whether you're using 2.4 GHz wireless, Bluetooth, USB-C or a 3.5mm audio jack, this headset has got you covered. The biggest drawback of the XT is that it tends to run through its battery rather quickly, especially if it's paired to two devices simultaneously. There is also no denying that the price point makes it something of a splurge for your average gamer. The Logitech Pro X Wireless is an excellent wireless headset that was designed with eSports in mind, which means you can expect professional level audio and a slick finish. The Logitech Pro X comes packaged with both leatherette and cloth ear cups, which can be easily swapped out depending on your preference. The headset can last for up to 20 hours on a single charge and can tether to your desktop via USB-C for simultaneous listening and charging. The drivers in the Pro X Wireless offer an exceptional sound profile that can be fine-tuned using the Logitech G software, allowing you to balance your highs and lows as necessary. A standout addition to this headset is the blue-branded Boom mic, it offers remarkable clarity and noise reduction thanks to the Blue O. CE software, which offers a variety of filters for providing cleaner audio to your teammates. There are some strange emissions from this otherwise well-designed headset. The first is the lack of swivel in the ear cups, which isn't a massive drawback but might make the Logitech Pro X uncomfortable for some. The real oversight is the lack of connectivity options. It can use the wireless dongle as well as a USB-C connection, but that's it. There's no way to connect to any device via Bluetooth or a 3.5mm headphone jack. Again the link is in the description below. The Epos H3 is a bit expensive for a headset that isn't wireless but that investment pays serious dividends when it comes to sound quality. While a bit larger than most, the Epos H3 is still remarkably comfortable with its thick leather ear cups and headband, perfect for extended gaming sessions, provided you don't mind looking like a crew chief for NASCAR. Epos is the freshly minted gaming arm of audio giant Sennheiser. As a result, we'd expect nothing less than top quality audio, and the Epos H3 definitely delivers. Full-bodied bass and treble provide a well-rounded soundscape that's enjoyable whether you're gaming or just listening to music. While it is certainly one of the better mics we've used, the boom mic on the H3 is unfortunately affixed to the headset. However, considering the headset is wired, it's unlikely you'll be wearing this headset anywhere but in front of your desk. Because it uses a 3.5mm audio jack, 
The Epos H3 plays with any modern console. It's incredibly versatile. Razer is a brand that's been synonymous with gaming peripherals for a long time. Some might call their peripherals over-engineered and maybe a bit gaudy, but Razer's latest gaming headset, the Black Shark V2 Pro, bleeds elegance and simplicity, with amazing performance to back it all up. This clean, understated headset evokes a design that wouldn't look out of place on an airline pilot, with a plush, breathable headband and matte black ear cups. A glossy Razer logo and a single volume knob are the only things that break up the graceful silhouette of the Black Shark, making it one of Razer's slickest designs to date. The Black Shark V2 Pro features rich quality audio that gets even better when you pair it with its DHX certified 7.1 virtual surround sound. Of course, the Black Shark also comes equipped with a detachable boom mic that sounds great. Unfortunately, the headset can only be paired using a USB dongle or 3.5mm audio jack, limiting its usefulness away from your console. Another small criticism of this well-rounded headset is that it feels a bit flimsy for the price. It doesn't feel fragile, but if you're dropping some decent bucks on a headset, it should have a little more heft to it. It's time to make the decision which one to get, check the link in the description to check the price and get yours. If you like this review don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button below. We'll see you in the next AdvisorBit video, till then have fun.